Good morning, Nasheen. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? Doing very well, so thank you. Remember what we're doing today? Yes, subject verb agreement. Yes, we threw with pronouns. Now we'll take up subject verb agreement today and we'll try to do comparisons also. We'll also do comparisons? Yes. Okay. Shall we start? Up to you. Okay, so what's the subject? What's the subject? Yes. You're asking me a question? Yes. Uh, subject is a person or anything somebody in focus. Yes, anything that is an action in yeah. the sentence is a subject yes. and verb is the action done. Verb is the action done. Right, Absolutely. so let's, uh, and we had to uh, see the agreement between these two. Okay, okay so let's move. Sure. Subject refers to the one performing the action. Right. And verb is used to indicate an action. Subject, the one performing the action and verb is used to indicate an action. Okay, That's perfect. Right. Management took the decision. Right. So management, management is, is the, subject. the subject and took, took is the, is verb. the verb. Yeah. Because this is the action. Okay. Okay. So yeah. let's see how we do the agreement. Okay. The rule is singular with singular and plural with plural. Okay. Okay. It has to agree in number. We have surpassed our wildest expectations. We is plural. We're talking about the sentence one. Right. We is plural. We are doing this one. Yes. We have surpassed our wildest expectations. So yes. we is plural. Right. Therefore, the verb has to be plural because yes. singular with singular and plural. Yes. So have is plural. Yes. So that means there is agreement. Yes. She has surpassed her wildest expectations. Yes. She singular. She singular has a singular. Has a singular. So it's absolutely. Right. So in she agreement. lives in China. Yes. She singular. Lives in singular. singular. Yes. More people live in Asia. More people. people People plural yeah, and live, live plural. So, plural. Yeah. Uh, my brother is a nutritionist. My brother singular, therefore is is singular. Brother is singular, is a singular. My sisters my are sisters, mathematicians. My sisters plural are plural. Yeah, so let me tell you one thing here. Noun plus s yes. is always plural. Yes. But verb plus s is always singular. Okay, so I just write it in the sound. Yeah. Noun plus s is singular. To singular. For example, if you write a boy plus s, that make, makes it boys. Boy plus s equals to boys. So this is plural. Noun plus s is plural, not singular. Yes. So I just correct that. Verb plus s is singular. Yes. Thing, so I just correct this. This is noun plus s. You just cross it noun out singular and write plural. Noun plus s is always plural. Yeah. And when we say verb plus s, that is always singular. So we'll put verb plus s. So that is singular. Equals to singular. So we say seem plus s means seems. Seems seem plus s equals to seems. So we say boy seems confused yeah. and boys seem, seem confused. confused. Absolutely. Right. So this is, uh, we always have to remember this. Yeah. Right. So let's go to the next slide. Sure. Okay. There can be more than one noun in the sentence, okay. but there is always one subject in that sentence. So you have to see which one does the verb refer to. You will have to repeat this. You are saying? There can be sentence which is a complex sentence and there can be more than one nouns in the sentence. There can be more than one noun yeah. in the sentence, but... But the verb always agrees with the main noun, that is the subject of the sentence. Okay, so what you're saying is the verb will always... The verb will always agree with the main noun. Yes. Okay. So, for example, if you go to the sentence, it says many leading members of the opposition party. Many leading members of the opposition party so have, I have two tried nouns to here. justify the decision. Yes. Two noun leading members and opposition party. Leading members and opposition party. So, but what is the main uh, noun? That is the what is the, yes, because the sentence is talking about the leading, leading members, members, not the opposition party. So, so leading members is plural, plural that will be plural and yes. will go with leading members. Right. So, there is a now one more trick here that is whatever is after the preposition that is of the yeah. So anything that is after the preposition cannot be the subject. It is not the main subject. Yes, what is before the preposition is the subject. Sure. So here many leading members uh, have tried. Yes. Okay. In the second sentence? The only excuse that he gave for his action was that he was tired. Right. So we have two nouns. Excuse. Yeah. So you have excuse. And actions. Actions. So what is my main noun here? I think 
actions are we talking about excuse or are we talking about action we're talking about excuse so my excuse is singular therefore yeah. was we yes. cannot say were yeah right so excuse so verb will always agree with the main noun of the sentence i will just correct this because there are two verbs here excuse and actions no the only excuse excuse is a noun okay excuse is a noun right so in this sentence it sure. behaves as a noun okay okay let's move in so this is a noun was will go verb. with the with excuse yes and therefore uh, it's singular it's singular yes and it's not going with actions that's right so here the action and the excuse both are nouns absolutely okay let's move to the next slide right now <coughs> as we said in the previous uh, video also that any word that ends with one body or uh, thing that's always singular, singular. always yeah. singular we, we spoke about that in pronouns yeah let me just go back we said that that's always singular. so anyone if we want no one no but they are always singular yes therefore they always require singular verb mm -hmm. so everyone has done his or her homework yes so everyone is singular therefore has everyone has because it goes with this rule yes this is singular right important yes right somebody has left her purse but the so singular, singular has singular important but for all and none if we go to the next slide i'll just go I think what we'll do is we'll take uh, the remaining part of this in the next video. Okay. Okay. Sure. So see you. Soon. So just remember that we are talking about uh, one and body is singular. Yeah. And we'll talk about what about all and some. Sure. Okay. okay.